gospel according to the physician, Dr. Luke, the gospel according to the physician, Dr. Luke, the gospel according to the physician, Dr. Luke, for your consideration, the 13th chapter. This is 2013, man. Right? Amen. The 13th chapter. We would like for you to note the 6th through the 9th verses. Luke chapter 13, Luke chapter 13, Luke chapter 13, amen. Beginning at verse number 6, concluding with verse number 9, amen. We're going to ask that all who can stand in reverence to the reading of the word of God. Everybody have it, say amen. Amen. Let us read it together, shall we begin? And so Jesus often used 
this parabolic methodology mm. of teaching. All right. The parable is very simple. It's about a fruit tree that does not have any fruit. Any fruit. All right. Amen. I'll give it to you again. It's about a fruit tree that does not have any fruit. Any fruit. Amen. Now, if a fruit tree does not have any fruit, it is good ah. for absolutely nothing. All right. Amen. Ah. The whole purpose of planting a fruit tree is so that you can have are y'all gonna talk to me? All right, go ahead. The whole purpose of planting all right, all right. a fruit tree is so that you can have fruit. some fruit. All right. And if the fruit tree does not have any fruit, mm. it is good for absolutely nothing. Nothing. Ah. It has been said that the interpretation of this particular parable as spoken by the Christ uh -huh. suggests why God is delaying judgment uh -huh. on humanity. All right. All right. Y'all are talking to me. Go ahead. Y'all don't sound like y'all know what I'm talking uh -huh. Because all of us but the saint of sin All right. has to stand uh -huh. before the judge. All right. Amen. Come on, talk to him. Amen. And, and, and judgment in the eyes of many folks suggests the end of uh -huh. the world. Uh -huh. Now, you just had your guy tell you that 12, 12, 12. Uh -huh. Was the end of the world. Ah. And then your guy, uh -huh. once it did not end, said, so, Well, it's 12, 21, 12. Ah. Ah. I, I wish I had. All right. I wish I had a witness. Amen. Here. Well, if the world should end, judgment yes. must precede uh -huh. or come before the end. All right. Straight out Bible teaching, and y'all not saying all right, all. amen. Judgment must come upon all humanity, all right, before, uh, before, the, before the world ends, all right, amen. Did, did you hear what I'm saying? Amen. And so, according to some theologians, this particular parable of the fruitless fruit tree is about God. Delaying judgment. Uh huh. All right. Jesus says a certain man had a future. Uh huh. Now some theologians have suggested that this fig tree was actually symbolic of Israel. Ah. Uh, all right. Because the fruit tree was always considered a blessed tree of God. All right. All right. During the time that Palestine was in full force, it was the most popular fruit tree in the land. All right. And so if you had a fig tree, uh, it was considered that you were blessed by God. And because Israel is God's chosen people, all right. it has been uh, suggested by some theologians that this fig tree was a personification all right. of Israel. All right. Now, pay attention now, because Jesus didn't say it. All right. All right. I wish I could help somebody. Go ahead. All Jesus says was that there was a certain man ah. who had a fig tree. Plan in his feet. Uh -huh. Now the fact that the tree, y'all want me to give you this story? Go ahead. The fact that this tree was planted in his vineyard suggested that it was not the only fruit tree. Uh -huh. 
that he had. All right. All him. right. It was not the only fruit tree that he had. He had. Uh, uh, you listen to amen. me. Amen. But this tree became his concern because Jesus said he came looking for fruit on it. All right. And found none. None. Uh. When he found none, he called the dresser who was the keeper uh. of the vineyard. Mm -hmm. You know, the dresser is the gardener. All right. He's the lawn maintenance person. Uh. He's the one who makes sure that every tree gets nourished. He, he's the one who makes sure the grass never grows too high where it smothers the root of the tree. Uh, he, he, he's the caretaker. All right. Of the man's vineyard, because when you're rich, you don't have to take care of it. Somebody gonna hear me. Uh, when you got some dough, when you got some loot, when you got some cash, you don't even have to clean your own house. You uh, call people. Uh, Y'all not talk to them. Uh, <laughs> So he had a dresser, and the dresser shop was to take care of it. Now listen, what the owner says to the dresser, it's the caretaker. Jesus says, he says, behold, these three years, I come seeking fruit on this feature, ah. and find no. no. All right. Now, it has been suggested by some scholars the reason that he says three years is because that was the longest period it would take ah. in order for a fig tree to have figs on. All right. Yeah. All right. Now, sometimes they had them on soon, but if something was wrong, if everything went wrong, if you put the tree in backwards and stuck the roots the wrong way, it still should not take longer than three years for the right. All right. Amen. And after three years, given that tree, the necessary time to have fruit, uh -huh. when he comes and sees that it has no fruit, he says, cut it down. Ah. Why let it soak up the soil and cover, right, 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 right. cover the ground? It, it's a waste. Ah. Furthermore, it's not good for nothing. Uh -huh. It becomes an eyesore because it's a naked tree. All right. Uh, Y'all not, right. not hear it, but the dresser says to the owner, Lord, let it alone this year uh -huh. also. Uh -huh. All right. In other words, give it a fourth. Ah. Uh. Give it a fourth year All right. until I have digged around it. All right. If I dig around it, maybe the soil around the root is, is dry. Ah. Uh. And even when I water it, it the, the, the water is not getting down to the root. Let me. All right, all right. Around it, and then after I dig around it, let me fertilize it. Ah. Fertilize it will feed. All right. It will feed the root, and then if it bear fruit. Ah. It's all good. Ah. But if it don't, if it don't, cut it down. Ah. So since I had all of these theologians and scholars telling me what this tree was and what it symbolized. I thought I'd bring it to you. Ah, all right. Because in most cases, fruit in the Bible really means work. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. You shall know a person by the fruit that they bear. That they bear. In right. most cases, fruit means work. So the fact that this fig tree had no fruit means that there was no work. All right. All right, y'all not hear me. Amen. So let me bring it. Let me bring it. Let me bring it. Let me bring it. Go ahead. Let me bring it. Let me bring it. Let me bring it. This fig tree 
represents those who have been blessed. Uh -huh. All right, God. all right, all right. Yeah, and we got no fruit on us. Ah. Uh because -huh. we haven't done jack. All right, all right. Yeah, we've been showing up for church. We've been putting a, a little money in the offering, a little money in the tithe, and by tipping it up. Ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We we ain't got enough courage, enough commitment to show up 52 Sundays. All right, we're here. All right. And then we leave the church house, and instead of us acting like we've been blessed by the Lord, we start acting like a bunch of niggas who haven't been out. Here. All right. All right. Yeah, we're driving on the highway, cussing folks out, giving them the finger, showing them. Ah. Going to store, want to argue with people who are simply doing their job and then get mad when they don't want to be bothered with them. Ah. We act. Yes. Yes. Yeah, old folks that were too mean to live and not even fit to die. Ah. Fit to die. Ah. We got some folks who have been blessed by the Lord, who people in their own family can't stand. Ah. Ah. Good. Family see them come, child, let down the shell. <laughs> then we get the audacity to stand up in other people's faith, because I'm blessed to have the faith. Ah. They ain't doing squat. Ah. All right. With our time, no is soaking up the blessings of the Lord uh -huh. and don't want to share now. All right. All right. Amen. I wish I had a witness here. Uh -huh. There are many of us. I shouldn't even tell you this. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. <laughs> We've got some folks in church, not this church, in church in general, who have been financially blessed by the Lord. All right. You think they gave more than they offered? Ah. Uh, uh. I'm asking you. Financially blessed by the Lord, do you think they increase their tithes and offerings? Mm. Some of y'all ain't saying that because it's y'all right Ah. Ah. See, some of us think the only time we're supposed to be Christians uh -huh. is in the church. All right. All right. Listen, if you get next to Negro in the bed, you still supposed to be a Christian. All right. All right. Wow. Ah. Uh. Y'all not. Ah. Uh. Maybe Negro might get converted before he gets some. Ah. Uh. is not a Sunday thing. Amen. It's a 24-7 thing. All right. It's about recognizing that you have been blessed by the Lord. It's about understanding that you have been saved by the blood of Jesus. Yeah. It's about knowing that God is watching over you. It's about understanding that the Lord will make other people find favor with you. It's about being aware that the Lord will put food on your table. Yeah. Just like this old barren, fruitless fruit tree. Ah. 
been blessed by the Lord, we can't got nothing we can hang our hat on. Ah. Ah. And yet, it is our fruit and our work. All right. That will be our testimony. All right. When we get to heaven. Do I have a witness? Amen. The book of Revelation, blessed are the dead ah. who die in the Lord. All right. For they shall rest from their labor All right. and their works follow them. Amen. Which means that when we get to glory, we will not have to tell Jesus what we did. All right. Our works. All right. This tree, this tree, mm. this tree that has no fruit, has no work. I mean, y'all look good on the first Sunday, but I'm wondering if y'all gonna look good on Saturday. All right. All right. All right. Which one of you pseudo Christians gonna be absent next Sunday? Ah. Ah. That's why you can't make New Year's resolution. You can't hang it. Ah. Ah. That's why some of y'all can't stay married. You can't hang it. Ah. All right. Then all the women come out. I want to get married. For what? Ruin somebody else's life? Ah. You know you can't. You know you're a quitter. Ah. You know that when it gets tough, you die. Ah. You ain't trying to be with nobody for no better or worse. Ah. Or, or poor. Amazing. All right, all right. How in the world 
Can we be blessed by the Lord? Ah. In church. All right. All my life. All right. So some folks actually think that they're Catholic. So when I was baptized in this church, you ain't baptized in the church. Uh huh. All right. All right. All right. All right. I was baptized in this church. I've been saying, yeah, bless you. Talk to you later. Because <laughs> I don't want to hurt nobody feeling. <laughs> but I told you, time is a battle. It tells when everybody. Right. It tells when people are stupid. Yeah. Uh huh. And it tells when people are smart. All right. And some folks just say the stupidest things right. to the reverend. That's why I understand why people don't talk to me. Ah. I wouldn't talk to me. Ah. Because I feel like I was reading my mind. Ah. Like he, he's really assessing my mental status. Right. <laughs> he's really psychoanalyzing me. Right. I did not say nothing. Ah. So thank God for, I got to go. Thank God. Yeah. All right. Because the owner's already set to cut us down. Yeah. Which means ain't none of us in this room that should be. Yeah. Should be here. We All act right. like God owes us. Uh. He don't owe us nothing. All right. Amen. He already gave us all he had. He owes us absolutely nothing. nothing. And then he let us go around in this world for God knows how many years doing whatever we want to do. Drinking our liquor, smoking our blood. Lighting up reefers, being on the pipe. He didn't let us shot up. He didn't let us get drunk. He didn't just let us deal with whatever we want to do. We got out in the club and didn't even remember we was in the club. Ah. Ah. Mm. So he don't owe us nothing. He don't owe us nothing. But thank God for the justice. All right. Because some scholars suggest that the dress is not other. All right. That he's not other than. All right. That he's not other than Jesus. All right. Amen. And that's what gets me about these thankless folks in church always thanking God and don't thank Jesus. All right. Because God would have ended it all. All right. All right. God has a strict code of conduct. Amen.
Jesus. <laughs> <laughs>